Traveling in a van is very trendy nowadays. Many people claim it to be the best way to travel while others even decide to live full time in a mobile home for years. I always wanted to give it a try and in this video I'm sharing my experience after a 5 day trip through the north of Spain. Well, good morning, first day. This is our space, this is our beautiful camper van. This is the roof. You can get this one, lift this one up, so you could sleep as well behind there, but it's much cooler to sleep here. We are here just in front of the sea in San Sebastian. Probably the number one reason for most people to travel in a van is not the van itself, but the freedom it gives you being on the road. It's kind of a tool that allows you to stay even closer to the most beautiful places than it would be possible in ordinary accommodation. Van life is very much related with wildlife and nature, since in many cities it is not allowed to stay overnight in a camper van. We use the app park for night where you can find places to stay, sometimes to get some legal information as well. If not, better check the regional legislation. If you want to spend a day in the city and drive into an underground parking, consider the ceiling height. One thing we are just noticing, being in San Sebastian in north of Spain, it's very difficult to park, it's very complicated. So in case you want to park in underground parkings and you're with the van, you really have to see the height of the van. This one is 195 and we just wanted to enter in one for 190, one meter, 90 centimeters, and we just can't. So we have to keep searching for parking. The same applies at some parkings in national parks. Most of the time we spend our nights on cliffs with great views and close access to the beach where we hang around in the mornings. The cool thing about sleeping in a van is that it is kind of a tent on wheels. The experience is similar to camping but you are moving around much faster and the setup is much more practical. It's obviously a more minimalistic lifestyle since you don't have that much space and often have to move things around to access something. We didn't travel in a modern van with bathrooms, so we used public toilets, showers on campsites or just dipped into the sea. To get yourself ready for the day without the convenience of a bathroom, sometimes you have to get a little bit creative. Traveling in a van can be very cost efficient, since you are usually preparing your own food when you are in remote places where you might not have restaurants nearby. Since you don't have to do check-ins in hotels, Airbnbs or hostels when you change the place, you are saving that money as well. One of the downsides of living in a mobile home might be that you have to take care of your facilities and supplies on a more regular basis. That means taking care of the battery of the car, change the gas for cooking, fill the water deposit and empty your grey water tank the moment it is full so that you are able to cook again. In general, things usually take more time, which is not a big problem, at least if you're not on a working schedule. Definitely the best part of traveling in a van is that you get to know many places you wouldn't know otherwise. You immerse yourself in nature, go for walks and explore the area while witnessing beautiful sunsets and sunrises. Okay, we are just seeing one of the most beautiful sunsets. Most of the time you are able to enjoy hidden gems for yourself in the late evening or in the morning before the places get more crowded. Overall getting a taste of van life was a great experience and I definitely could imagine living in a van for a few months. If you've ever thought about traveling in a van, you should definitely give it a try. It might be the adventure you are missing in your life. <laughs>